Prepare for a Control the Bleed workshop. The Apprentice Doctor Control Bleeding Simulation Kit includes most of the items needed for completing the majority of the practical projects in the Apprentice Doctor Control Bleeding course. The following items are required but not supplied in the kit. A tray with curved sides, red food coloring dye, paper towels, a funnel. This is optional. Prepare for a control bleeding workshop as follows. Select a suitable room or lab for the workshop. Tiled or vinyl floors are preferred over carpets. Work surfaces should be able to tolerate spillage and should be easy to clean. Arrange sufficient workstations. Each station able to accommodate four workshop attendees. Distribute one apprentice doctor control bleeding kit to all the workstations. Open the kits and unpack the content. Place the tray on the work surface and cover it with a linen saver with the absorbent side facing upwards. Place the simulation arm on the covered tray. Set up the various items as indicated in the photo below. You will need the following items supplied in the Apprentice Doctor Control Bleeding Kit. The basic Apprentice Doctor Control Bleeding Simulation Arm or Leg, connectors also serving as lumen stoppers, a hemostatic forceps, the sphygmomanometer, the cat tourniquet, linen saver, plastic aprons, nitrile gloves, the various packets with gauze and bandages, the fluid bag and tubing, a syringe, a stitch cutter, a marker pen, the tie suture. Follow these steps to fill the fluid bag. Fill the bag over a tub or basin. Mix about 1 liter or 2.1 pints of water with approximately 3 to 5 milliliters of red food colorant. Close the fluid tube's roller clamp. Open the lid of the fluid bag and fill the bag up to the 1,000 milliliter mark with a red colored water serving as fake blood. A funnel may make this task easier. Eliminate the remaining air from the bag and close the lid. Ensure that the lid is tightly closed by pressing it down thoroughly. Secure the latch. Place a tight elastic band over the lid to prevent it from opening, resulting in spillage of the fluid. Follow these steps to set up the control bleeding simulation arm. Study the diagram of the Apprentice Doctor Bleeding Control Simulation Practice Limb. Connect the fluid line to the fluid bag if it is not already connected. Open the fluid line roller clamp. Let the fluid fill the drip chamber and let it run down to the tip of the tube. Allow a few drops of the fake blood to flow out of the tube into a small container or onto the linen saver. Wrap the blood pressure cuff around the filled liquid bag. It should fit snugly. Connect the fluid line tip to the relevant vein or artery according to the guidelines of the specific project. Use a connector if necessary. You are ready to start with the various Stop the Bleed projects. To set up for venous bleeding, connect the fluid line to the vein tube marked with blue tape on the inflow side of the simulation arm. Follow the instructions as in Project 5. To set up for arterial bleeding, connect a fluid line to the larger artery tube marked with green tape on the inflow side of the simulation arm. Follow the instructions as in Project 6A to C. To set up for applying an arterial tourniquet, connect the fluid line to the smaller artery tube marked with red tape on the inflow side of the simulation arm. 
Follow the instructions as in Project 6D 1 through 6. To set up for amputation bleeding, connect the fluid line to the smaller artery tube, marked with red tape, on the inflow side of the simulation arm. Follow the instructions as in Project 7A to C. Clean and store the simulation arm for reuse. Deflate the blood pressure cuff and close the fluid tube's roller clamp. Disconnect the fluid tube from the simulation arm. Allow the fake blood in the fluid bag and line to empty into a basin. Rinse the bag and fluid line with clean water, then empty the bag and allow the water to drain. Now clean the simulation arm. Prepare a bowl with clean water. Leave all the connectors attached to the various arm tubes. Remove the used balloon tube and discard it. Over a basin, rinse all the tubes a number of times using the syringe filled with the clean water from the bowl. Wipe the arm and tubes with a damp cloth. Wipe the tray and the work surfaces with a mild soap solution. Replace all reusable items in the kit. Discard all the used disposable items like the linen saver, used gauze, and bandages. Discard sharps like the stitch cutter and suture needles, if applicable, in a suitably dedicated sharps waste container. Order a replenish pack for placement in the kit. Store in an appropriate place, out of reach of babies and toddlers for future use. Note, the simulation arm and the fluid bag are reusable only for a limited number of times. Replacement arm models in a variety of skin complexions are available for reordering. A new fluid bag is included in the Apprentice Doctor Control Bleeding Replenish Pack. Enjoy the various workshops!